back in the basement again today to talk about this, a vintage York Power Bar. Now by vintage, I mean like 1980s, which doesn't seem like that long ago to me being born in 1981, but for many of you, it is literally a lifetime ago. And even now that I think about it, it is over 40 years ago from when I was born. I'm getting old, which means this barbell is also getting old. But I picked this up recently locally for a pretty good price, around $100, and I wanted to kind of put it to the test to see if you could use a vintage bar, and I use that term loosely because I have a lot of vintage friends who collect a lot of equipment and 1980s to them is still considered relatively new, but can you use this for everyday training? A lot of people are looking for a good, affordable power bar, and a lot of people are also looking for secondary barbells. Could this be the one for you? It does have some really nice features about it I wanna call out really quick. Number one, the first thing I noticed is that it does have a longer center neural, which is something that I search for in newer bars today, so this is a very good sign. Speaking of neural, one of the downsides of most vintage bars is they're old. They've been put through the paces. They also don't usually have the most aggressive neural and even those that did tend to have been worn down over the years. This one, I should say, it is decent. And by decent, I mean it is average. So it's not the worst bar. It is not the best bar by far. I will show you some close-ups of it. I think it is passable. I'll put it to the test today again with squatting, benching, and deadlifting. Lucky me. But overall, it is a very cool vintage style bars. And what gives it away for this York Power Bar it's probably the sleeve. It uses a split sleeve design. There's a roll pin at the end that keeps those sleeves on. It's stamped York Barbell, York PA. Pretty cool. The land of the Yorks before they went overseas. So this is kind of some of the last of the vintage made in USA stuff that York did. And I'm gonna put it to the test today, but I think in order to do that, I need to dress the part as well. Whoa, excellent. <laughs> All right, so overall, was able to use it, squat, bench, and deadlift, no real issues. Towards that last set of deadlift, my grip wasn't the best, but again, didn't use any chalk. The knurling on here is more passive, as I've already stated, but completely doable for multiple sets at 500 pounds. Now, a lot of that's gonna depend on the bar that you get, how good, or in some cases, how bad the knurling is, obviously your grip strength as well, but there's nothing preventing you from using chalk or straps in your own home gym. So for the value of this bar, which can be had around 100 to $200 locally, it's fairly good considering that you can bench squat and deadlift reasonably heavy with no problems. Now, if I'm going for a one rep max attempt or I really wanna focus in on stuff, I'd probably use a different bar because I don't wanna to have to worry about my grip, or have to worry about the slop in the plates or anything like that. But there is a lot of cool nostalgia using a bar that is 30 or 40 years old. And for some of you, maybe your parents used this when they were training. If you're my age, maybe used it in high school, but it brings back a lot of good memories of made in the USA and some of the original iron era, if you will, for many of us out there. Now, this is also potentially Pandora's box. It could be opening up a whole new world of vintage type equipment for you as this still being like a 40 year old bar is fairly new when you consider some of the stuff that people collect. But again, the bright side about this is that it's fairly inexpensive, as little as hundred bucks. I've seen some go for 80 or even less because a lot of times people are just getting rid of these bars. They're collecting rust literally in someone's basement, not in this basement, of course, 
Uh, but they can be have, like I said, kind of cheap. They're doable for squat, bench, and deadlift. They're great for a secondary bar, and they have some real coolness factors about them. Let me know in the comment section below if you would rock a bar like this if one were available to you locally, and or if you wanna see more vintage type equipment on this channel. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching, and stay big. Woo!